Lance Mechanics here, and if you clicked on this video today, you want to know why the 19, the 20, and the 25 model year L87 engine blocks, 6.2 liters, aren't covered in this, uh, I'm not even going to call it a recall, it's a TSB at this point because there's no fix. Um, it's very simple. The 19 to 20 blocks are different from the 21 to 24 blocks, and the 25s are different too. And the interesting thing is uh, the 21 to 24 blocks are backwards compatible to the 19 and the 20s, but not the other way. So the improvements for the 21 block to 24 is they had updated main crank bearing areas more reinforced. Uh, the upper oil gallery area for your DFM and AFM is modified with uh, more support, better oil passages, updated collapsible lifters to help prevent the, the cam issue that everybody's experiencing, unfortunately. And these changes made it different enough that those older engines don't fall under the recall. Uh, it's a parts game. They can argue in court. Some people can argue in court it's still the same engine. What can I say? Uh, the recall is for lack of propulsion, not uh, cam lobes being eaten. And interestingly enough, I've looked into the 2025 and... I'm just gonna pull up the, what I found something here online. It's under GM authority of all things. And uh, right from the horse's mouth, a series of crankshaft and connecting rod manufacturing improvements implemented on or before June 1st, 2024, addresses contamination and quality issues. Model year 2025 vehicles were built after these improvements are not included in the recall. So yeah, I don't know what improvements they could make on those 2025s that doesn't require the same update of oil for the 21 to 24s because I'm just finding information online. I'm, I'm very limited to data here, but it still looks like the 2025 model years are using 0W20. So <laughs> it's a tough subject. Uh, I got a lot of opinions and I'm just trying to hold back and keep calm. I find the whole doubling the oil viscosity thing very, very weird. And I know someone's gonna say in the comments, going from a 20 to a 40 doesn't double it. Yet. Whatever, the number doubled. Let's leave it at that. So what going forward? Um, I still think they should just recall the entire lineup. Uh, these 21 to 24s are still having cam lifter issues. As far as I'm concerned, it's a valve train component that's basically bricking these engines. It should be covered. Uh, I think they're getting around some legal issues by uh, saying it's propulsion issue and not a lifter issue on some things. 40 people allegedly had the crank pin on cylinder number three, the retaining ring for the pin eject itself, which is weird. Like, were all these pistons made in one factory? Why is it number three? Could it be because uh, you have 16 cylinders and you're deactivating the, the lifters? You're putting force on one cylinder more than the other. It just seems a little odd to me. Uh, there's, I'm not an engineer at the end of the day. We can all accept that. I, I accept it. I'm not an engineer, but I still like to ask questions. So here's what I think is going to happen. I'll be calm about this. Um, if they have an updated crank and rotating assembly and it's still the same block, which I highly doubt, uh, the recall will be to R and R, maybe one piston. I've done it. You can put them up through the bottom. It's not fun, but it's doable. Or they're going to replace the whole rotating assembly. Uh, oh, that's a big job on a GM. I don't really see them doing the whole rotating assembly. Uh, what I've learned with warranty lately is they've gotten it down to the point where they can get it down to just a few parts and save millions. They're going to do it that way. Uh, if you're not in the know-how, uh, example, Honda is having main bearing issues on their, uh, their V6 lineup. And instead of pulling the engine apart, they have a special thing that goes on the front of the crank and it'll tell you where to start, top dead center or whatever. You rotate it one way, pull the crank off, put it back, rotate it the other way. Anyways, they can change out these bearings without even pulling apart the engine. You're just dropping the oil pan. So I feel like GM would probably figure out a way to change the main bearings and pop out a piston without too much effort from underneath. Uh, it's the way they save money. Who knows? I'm just kind of ranting. Uh, Things are different, some food for thought. So yeah, if you're wondering why the, the 19 and the 20s and the 25s aren't covered, is uh, there's enough of a difference there that GM doesn't have to cover them. As far as uh, paperwork's concerned, on paper, they did implement changes to negate these issues. Uh, 
Time will tell what happens. Like I said in my previous video, we're on revision one. And revision one, it could be up to revision 40 by the end of the year. Uh, that's how our recalls and TSBs work. So yeah, post in the comments what you think. Um, I did find it interesting that the 21 to 24 blocks were backwards compatible. So I'd like to know what's going on with the 2025 block. Again, it's very hard to find information right now. Uh, they're tight-lipped because they have lawsuits, right? So yeah, uh, Lance Mechanics, if you enjoyed this video, I'll have a little more, uh, I'll call it toolbox talk uh, later on. So uh, have a good one. Take care.